Okay, we are live. Part three of Making Rogan Josh. Moji Masala Test Kitchen. Wish Hi, welcome back. So we have one hungry little one over here. But it's about 45 minutes later. Um, we let this Rogan Josh fully cook. I'm going to give you a look here. Am I missing my... Yes, so fully oh, cooked meat. Good. I just want to show you the texture of the curry. This is really, really important. Okay, if you try, here it is now. See, it's it's thick, it's very gravy-like. It's really a good good description. If you did stop this 10 minutes before that, it would probably have half the flavor. That's how important it is to really cook it down. I really want to get fries and Okay, and somebody is really anxious to try it. Okay, here goes. She's gonna be our taste tester. Go ahead. Tell, tell us how it tell tastes. Tell us if it's now. tender enough. What do you think? Now this lamb, I, I had to, um, I sort of every five to seven minutes gave it a stir because it was sticking to the bottom, or this goat rather. And um, so probably five, six times I had to kind of lift the lid, give it a turn. You know, I kind of will, just to make my meat a little tender, I um, turned it higher a little bit, then turned it down, higher and down because this sort of butcher goat meat is tougher. But um, I often get like lamb from Whole Foods and it cooks pretty fast. It tenderizes pretty quickly. So I, I wouldn't be doing that as much, but just showing you, you know, it's just, you work with what you have. You're not going to ruin the dish. The only thing that'll ruin the dish is if you burn it. And the only thing that'll make the dish not taste too good is if you don't cook down, cook it down enough at the end. But if you do that, it's really, how is it, Nora? <laughs> She's contemplating. Um, I'm gonna try it, or I'll have JD try it while it, while she's contemplating. Why don't you try it? Because I can't hold That's the true. camera at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little piece off here. Hey, right, Cody. Dad, it's yummy. Yummy. All right, we got a yummy it's on yummy, that end. But it's yummy, but I don't like it. I love it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. It's really good. It's so good. So good. Now, yeah. mm, another important thing. I tried this 10 minutes ago and I was like, oh, I'm probably gonna have to add salt. Now that I cooked it down, it does not need more anything. So do not add salt anything till the end. I don't think you're only gonna need salt. We will, the marinade is really kind of well salted, but if you did want to salt it, you'd salt it while it's simmering, add a little bit of salt, a quarter teaspoon at a time, and then mix it in and then bring it, let the, Mom, let the liquid kind of come to a little bit of a boil. Mom, can and I then So that ensures that the salt spreads Mom, through. Okay, we're going to have dinner. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was a learning experience. Oh, the rice, sorry. So, simple rice, one cup of rice, one and three quarters cup of water. We went with Thai jasmine. 20, you know, you bring the, you bring the water to a boil, turn it to low, put the, I'd like to do this to absorb the moisture. You do not need to do this. Um, Nothing fancy, but delicious, flavorful. Jasmine rice gonna hold that curry, like that, all that yummy gravy so beautifully. So we're very hungry, so we're gonna okay. go. Bye. Bye.